Greetings, everyone. I'm Larry Williams, the director of the Center for the Advancement of Research Methods and Analysis, or CARM, at Wayne State University. And I'm not really sure if I could be more excited about being here with you at this particular time as we kick off our ninth year of the Karma Consortium webcast program. And the lecture that you'll be hearing uh, once I get done with my introductory comments will be the 79th lecture that we will have presented since we started with this crazy idea in the fall of 2004. Uh, before we talk uh, about this year's program, if it's okay, I'd like to just uh, pause and share a couple of our more noteworthy uh, accomplishments uh, as we were preparing the overview slides that you've been looking at. We realized that now, since we started this program in the fall of 2004, we've had over 25,000 uh, requests to watch our individual videos. Uh, you may know that we also had an aggressive short course program last year and was in Australia, uh, here at Wayne State, uh, Rotterdam, and Hong Kong. And as we got through those short courses, that brought our total number of short course participants since we first started doing short courses to over 1,500. And uh, so we're, we're very thankful for all the people that have been involved over the years contributing both to the webcast program and to our short course program. Uh, the success in all that we do really is a combination of a team slash family effort. I say family because as we were getting started, uh, my wife Margaret and my two sons Jackson and Aaron uh, played a critical role in various ways in supporting me with karma. Uh, but it's also a team family effort in the sense that the people that end up working with karma uh, oftentimes end up feeling like they are a part of our family. And so I would like to just give, uh, give note to some of the people that have really helped us out. Uh, most recently, and sitting in the room with us today, is Sam Falarka, uh, who coordinates our live webcast. I really didn't know the kind of resources that I would be getting into uh, when I joined uh, Wayne State in uh, January of 2010 for CARM in our webcast program, but it's turned out to be great, and Sam, uh, you are a real delight to work with, and we're very grateful for all that you do. Uh, also, I should mention Ivano Moreno, who's back at Virginia Commonwealth University. He was sort of my brother in arms as we were getting this started, and although I no longer work with him directly, uh, he is an important uh, kind of confidant and advisor in an informal way. My two current staff members that are next door are Hansu and Alex, and uh, some of you in this room and many of you out there watching may have interacted with them and uh, we try our best to provide good service and they are at the forefront of that effort and I'm very thankful for all that they have done uh, as well as past staff members that some of you may have encountered along the way uh, Sue Hosni, Angela, Tiffany, Carey and a long list of others as well. Uh, Carmen now is kind of a collaborative effort between the Psychology Department and the School of Business Administration and so I'm thankful for uh, all the administrators and the faculty in both locations that provide uh, their support. And then I'm very thankful and grateful for kind of like a core group of colleagues and friends that uh, uh, have made numerous contributions over the years to Karma, and that includes Herman Aguinness, Jeff Edwards, Bob Vandenberg, Larry James, Jose Cortina, James LeBreton, Mark Gavin, Paul Bleasy, Karen Locke, Mike McDaniel, and Jeff Stanton, among others. And um, they are my friends, and uh, they regularly call, uh, respond to the call, and, and I'm very thankful for that. And probably the best part about this whole thing is we have so much fun doing it. So uh, we are very excited about this year's program. Uh, we currently have 115 universities worldwide participating in our consortium webcast program and our international video library program. Uh, we've got a great set of, of lectures scheduled for this year, uh, including editors of several of our top journals, such as Journal of Applied Psychology, Strategic Management Journal, Academy of Management Journal, Organizational Research Methods, Psychological Methods, and the International Journal of Qualitative Research 
and organizations and management. I do want to make sure you know about three new features that we've added to this year's program. First, uh, we now are allowing each school to have three live access points to our uh, lectures. Uh, in the past, it was just one. We've increased that to three. We've always allowed cost sharing, and it's not uncommon that different departments at different universities will, will come together, but they've always had to go to one viewing location, and we decided to try to make that a little easier to increase our access, and also to make it more easy for schools to uh, get others to be interested in that cost sharing. So we're very excited about that. We've got three bonus recorded lectures that are going to be offered during the year by Research Methods Division Early Career Award winners. And we're very excited about our new uh, efforts in Karma at LinkedIn. And early next week, you'll get an email inviting you to join this closed group uh, as a way of participating in discussion and uh, networking. Uh, let me also encourage uh, you to follow us and support us on the Karma YouTube channel, on Karma Facebook, and Karma Twitter. And uh, then the last thing before we get into today's presentation is let me remind you that during the presentation, we encourage you to email any questions about the talk uh, or the field of industrial organizational psychology as far as that goes uh, for our presenter to consider after he's done with his formal lecture. And of course, you can email those to karma at wayne.edu. So, now that I've taken care of those preliminaries and I appreciate your patience, let me introduce uh, today's speaker that's going to kick off this year's program. Steve Kozlowski uh, received his PhD from Pennsylvania State University and is now currently the, uh, in the organizational psychology faculty at Michigan State University, uh, where he's been since 1982 when he joined the faculty as an assistant professor. He is a fellow of APA, APS, and PSYOP, and uh, currently maybe most known, best known as the editor of the Journal of Applied Psychology. He also is the chair-elect of the APA Council of Editors. Over the years, Steve has been on the editorial board of all of our top journals, Academy of Management Journal, Journal of Management, Board of Behavior, Human Decision Processes, Human Factors, and of course the Journal of Applied Psychology as well. He also is on multiple advisory boards for the National Academy of Sciences and the Army Research Institute. And a quick check of his data uh, led me to conclude that he has roughly over $3 million of current grant funding or grant funding that uh, just ended up. Uh, the best way that I can describe Steve's interest comes from the first sentence of the material that he provided and that should be in the bios that you got. Uh, his interest and his view is of organizations as dynamic systems of cross-level and multi-level processes that unfold over time. And that's going to be kind of at the core of his presentation today. So please join me in giving a karma welcome to Steve Thompson. 